There is no doubt that the world has plenty of suffering and misery in it. There is poverty, there is terrorism, there are all sorts of crimes happening every day and we can see a lot of universal injustice and unfairness in the world. Then the most logical question one would ask is, if God really exists, then why do these things happen? Can God not do anything to prevent them? Because as per most of the religions, everything in the universe is created by God and happens by God's will. If you believe that, then even the terrorists, the corrupt politicians and all the cunning and evil people in the world are created by God and everything they are doing is happening by God's will. You can see how believing in this theory can take away your sense of responsibility and thus your freedom. Most theists explain that all the misery in the world is actually caused by human beings themselves. They argue that God actually created a beautiful world, but it's the humans who create misery for themselves and for people around them by their thoughtless actions. But this argument still fails to explain why are there natural calamities like floods, droughts, earthquakes, tsunamis and innumerable diseases which humans have no control over. Some theists in the West say that the misery and suffering in the world is actually like a test which one has to go through without complaining in order to get rewards in his or her afterlife. While in the East, it is believed that your current suffering is a result of your karma in the past. Whether it may be in this life or in your past lives. That's quite illogical and unjustifiable because what purpose does the punishment serve if you are not aware of why you are being punished? Even if we hypothetically assume that the past life karma theory is true, it's unjustifiable because you don't remember the act or the mistake you committed in the past life for which you are suffering the consequence. Well, in ancient Buddhist texts, it is said that in existence, there are no rewards nor punishments, there are only consequences. So it's like if you put your hand in fire, your hand will burn. No God has punished you. It's not a punishment, but a consequence of your act. So, according to Buddhism, the consequences can be experienced either immediately or over a period of time. Explained by the Buddha using the analogy of the seed and the tree. Any act is like the seed and its consequence or its consequences are like the fruits it will bear once it grows into a tree. The consequences can be experienced either immediately or over a period of years or even over a period of lifetimes. So, we should be careful while planting the seed and not complain when the tree gives its fruits because it's a consequence of which seed we have planted. In the next segment, we will be looking at how the concept of God may have originated and why it might be important for people to believe in it. If you wish to remain updated with our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel and help us spread this wisdom to more and more people by sharing this video. You can also share your views in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.